see if we can't get this work in here. Just got to connect it up. Uh, are we connected? Oh, we're connected. Power cadence. here what uh here we go let's just do this okay uh add devices here we go so we want to connect that we want to connect the power we want to connect the heart rate. I think we should be good to go here. Let's see. Heart rate. All right. We're good to go. Everything's connected. We're live. All right. So this is workout number two, elements of style. And we are, we are a go. Let's do the damn thing, guys. videos get pretty intense. Welcome to Sufferlandria. Take in that view. Lovely place, eh? This isn't going to be one of your normal visits, because believe me, being the best you can be is not just about suffering, it's about style. All the legends of the sport understood the importance of moving efficiently on the bike, and true greats have a style all of their own. The beauty of Fausto Coppi's pedaling, poetry in motion. The dancing style of Alberto Contador, an angel on a pinhead. The tongue wagging of Tommy Vogler, a man who pulls more faces than you'll find at a bad clown fight. The rocking brute strength of Jens Vogt, more rock and roll than straight line, but it worked for decades. But for most of us, a smooth style is the target, and it doesn't come naturally. It takes work, focus, and crucially, refinement. Grace under pressure is an impressive thing, and that comes only with a dedication to perfection. This video will help you find your style through a series of specific drills. The program has a dual purpose. First, to improve your body awareness so you understand exactly how you function on the bike. And secondly, to hone your efficiency as you pedal and move on your chosen machine. You take on six drills in total. 
First, we introduce the concept of a pre-takeoff systems check. We want a relaxed body in the right position. Next up, three different drills focusing on your pedal stroke with an emphasis on efficiency and stability. From there, we'll retweak the systems check as we practice using your core to move from a seated to an out of saddle climbing position. And finally, we'll close out with more systems work that you'll need during any high intensity climb. So let's make you the best you can be and believe me, that's a lot better than you think is possible. And that I am right now. Is this the So here we are, our first drill. How often do you consider just how you sit on the bike? It's not just about your legs, it's about your entire body and how each part contributes to maximize both power and efficiency. This systems check is a nine point mental checklist to help ensure that you're fully aware of exactly what your body is doing and that everything is just how it should be and as relaxed as possible into the systems check. Now remember, this is a mental checklist. Focus and use it. First up, you should be applying pressure across your entire foot from heel to toe. Your ankles should be relaxed. Knees should be tracking straight and parallel with the top tube or pulled in just slightly. Next, sounds obvious, but sit down on your saddle. Your weight needs to be carried right there and not on your legs. Your core is crucial to both stability and power on the bike, so let's engage your abs, pulling your navel towards your spine. Now let's anchor that core, yeah, rotate grips. your pelvis downwards, yeah, straightening is, uh, your lower really back. Cool. And some simple stuff, relax your shoulders, they should not be around like your ears. Warm your hands up by gripping and releasing the bar. Pull your elbows in and relax your upper arms. Lastly, release any tension you've got in your okay, neck by rolling you your head from side to side. Systems check complete. You're now far more aware of your body on the bike and the position you need to be in to stay relaxed. We're now ready to focus on the next most important contributor to efficiency and power, your pedal stroke. The key to an efficient pedal stroke is smoothly applying pressure all the way throughout the stroke. Sounds obvious, but pedal in circles with no bouncing in your saddle and no choppy movements in transition from one part of the stroke to another. Great pedaling comes only with practice and this drill will give you the awareness helping improve your stroke on every ride. So let's break down that stroke into four segments. The top stroke, down stroke, bottom stroke and up stroke. Across the top, you'll be pushing your foot forward the reason I'm using doing your it, shin, <laughs> calf and hamstring yeah, to Jason approach the downstroke. In the downstroke, the most powerful part of this cycle, you'll engage your glutes, hamstring, quads and calf. Across the bottom stroke, you want the feeling of scraping mud off the bottom of your shoe, engaging glutes, hamstring and calf. Into the upstroke, the feeling is more of unweighting the leg than really generating significant power. In this exercise, we'll focus on applying pressure in each of those zones and then start putting the pieces together for a complete stroke. We'll start with your right leg. You can leave your left leg clipped in, but ignore it for now and think only of what you're doing with your right leg. Let's begin. Think only of the top stroke. Pushing forward every time your foot comes to the start of the stroke, really concentrate on the muscle engagement necessary to move that pedal forward. Awesome. The cycling world is a small world. Now into the downstroke. Okay. Think only of the downstroke and the sensation of pushing down on your entire foot using your glutes, quad and calf. Bottom of your shoe. Start pulling back from about four o'clock on the dial and if you wait too long to pull back, you'll bounce in the saddle. Upstroke. Unweight the leg by lifting up with your hamstring and glutes. I've never really given it this much thought of my, my pedaling, so this is really interesting. Great work. Okay, take a break for a few seconds before we shift to the left leg.
shifting onto that left leg, ignore your right leg completely and really push your left foot across the top stroke. It's hard to ignore when it's locked in. Onto the downstroke, pushing down on your entire foot. Visualize the pedal extending from your toe all the way to your heel and every part of your foot pushing down. Scrape that mud off your shoe and really be aware of the roll of your calf in this part of the stroke. On the upstroke, feel that sensation of lifting up with your glutes and hamstrings. Now we'll continue to focus on our segments, but let's work on both legs at the same time. So you'll think about pushing each leg through the top stroke, and then through the down stroke, and so on. Ready? Top stroke. Push those feet over the top of that circle. Downstroke, both legs. Make sure you're not lifting yourself out of the saddle with each stroke. It does feel different, I must say. It's almost as if they know what they're talking about. <laughs> Bottom stroke, pulling back with each leg, really creating awareness of the role of your calves and hamstrings in making this happen. Don't pull your body forward as you pull back with your feet. Remain still in the saddle. Upstroke. Use your glutes, head. calf and hamstring to lift the leg up and back into the top stroke. Nice work. Now it's time to put the pieces together and get that awareness of really smooth pedaling. Make sure you aren't rocking your hips during the exercise or lifting yourself out of the saddle on the downstroke. Let's begin with your right leg only. Starting with the top stroke. Now at the downstroke, concentrating on pushing forward and then down. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Now really bring the bottom stroke into your focus. I've never really focused on technique like this before, so this will be good, hopefully. Finally, add the upstroke to complete the entire stroke cycle. Apply the awareness you've generated so far through this exercise to find a smooth, efficient stroke in which you're applying pressure throughout the entire stroke. Now switch your focus to your left leg and we'll start with the top stroke. Add the down stroke. Smoothly add in the bottom stroke. And now, the full stroke. Feel how beautiful that is. Now that, my friend, is called style. <laughs> Keep the leg engaged all the way around the stroke. Keep the weight on your seat, not your legs. <laughs> Moving on to both legs, really focus on pedaling circles with both legs, keeping pressure all the way around the stroke. Don't think of any other aspect of your riding except your pedal stroke right now. Stay focused and aware of a smooth stroke and how you make it happen. Make sure you're not bouncing. Keep everything from your hips on up as still as possible. Here in my mouth. 
Feels smooth, eh? Now remember this feeling and carry it through the rest of the drills and out onto the road whenever you go there. Can do. OK, sit up and relax for a bit. You've earned it. I've earned it. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Now let's take that efficiency and move it into some high resistance, low cadence work. This drill will further improve your pedal stroke, while at the same time creating more awareness of what your body needs to do to remain stable and relaxed when it's under pressure at low cadences. The strength and efficiency you'll develop here will be very useful for both steep, seated climbs and pushing big gears on the flat. Remember, when your body is strong and stable, you can deliver more power down through the pedals. Start to bring your cadence down to 50 RPM Jesus. and find an effort level about 6.5 out of 10. First thing to focus on in this drill is your core. This means your abs, back and glutes. This is your powerhouse and it has to remain strong and stable throughout the entire exercise. Engage your abs by pulling your navel back toward your spine. Then tilt your pelvis forward so you can flatten your back and engage your glutes. Your glutes are your main power source and with every pedal stroke you should be focusing on pulling your abs back, keeping your pelvis rotated and your glutes squeezing down on each pedal stroke. Remember that smooth pedal stroke from the last exercise? If it helps, spend a few seconds focusing on each segment of the stroke and then put it all together again for smooth pressure around the cycle. Don't get sloppy. Keep those abs engaged, that back flat. If you're beginning to arch your back as you get tired, you'll start to lose power and your pedal stroke will suffer. Keep your weight on your seat and all your power going into your legs to drive the bike forward. Don't let that pelvis come back into an upright position. Keep it rotated down so your back and glutes stay engaged. Engage the butt. Okay, let's do a quick systems check to make sure that your body is relaxed. Pressure across the entire foot, knees in, weight on seat, abs engaged, Good luck, back straight, shoulders down, Danny, hands relaxed, this is a great elbows in, video. neck relaxed. It's giving me all the Good. all tips and tricks. This is awesome. This is called Sufferlandria. It's an alternative to Zwift. Focus on that strong core. Remain as still as possible in your upper body. Maybe think about balancing a glass of water between your shoulder blades. It is. All right. 
Well done. Relax and shake it out. Get your cadence back up and take that resistance off as you prepare for our next Yeah, Danny, you get it now. You know what this is all about. <laughs> so if you look in the middle, Danny, you got the cadence, power, my heart rate, mileage. Go from left to right. Mileage, what zone I'm in, with my heart rate. <laughs> Watts, cadence, effort level I should be at. Just for strength and stability at low cadence, now we want to work at the other end of the spectrum. High cadence efforts. This is where you I can suck at. A lot of cyclists tend to bounce too much at high cadences, but for a smooth pedal stroke above 100 RPM, it's essential to remain stylish and efficient to improve on the bike stuff. performance. We're going to do three sets of efforts in which we alternate between 115 and 100 RPM for 15 seconds each. Oh, Take the awareness you've generated in the pedal stroke drill and be sure to apply pressure all the way through the pedal stroke in this drill. Remain still and focused as your legs spin beneath you. The key, as you've already learned, is in your core. So get those abs engaged by pulling your navel back, tilt that pelvis and flatten your back. Ready? 115 RPM. Bouncing in the saddle is forbidden under pain of flogging, so don't let it happen. <laughs> 100 RPM. Hundred and fifteen RPM. Make sure you increase your cadence smoothly. One hundred RPM. Bring your cadence down to 90 RPM and oh, relax goodness. before we start that second set. That high RPM stuff. Back to the high RPM stuff. Here we go. Bring it up to 115 RPM. Keep your knees in and really think about that smooth pedal stroke. Dropping down to 100. Hundred and fifteen RPM. Keep those shoulders and arms relaxed. Tension there will cause you to stiffen up and start you bouncing in that saddle. One hundred RPM. Back to 90 RPM and relax, but don't lose that focus on a smooth pedal stroke. I need a smart trainer. <laughs> a dumb guy controlling a dumb trainer. Not well. Two negatives don't equal positive in this case. <laughs> Thank you.
Quick systems check right here to get your body into position. All systems go, baby. Here we go again. Bring it up to 115 RPM. For this set, really focus on staying low. Get a low, flat back, pelvis rotated down and shoulders and arms relaxed. A bit slower. Stay low. Think again about balancing that glass of water between your shoulder blades. Think of whiskey if it helps. Oh yeah. Vodka. A bit faster now. Make sure you've got no bouncing and no rocking from side to side at these cadences, okay? A bit slower. Gotta work on this. Relax and shake it out. It'll soon be time to start working a bit harder. Oh, Often great. the more pressure a rider is under, the worse their style gets and the less efficient they become. So, we're like going to being? take you through a few systems okay. checks as we ramp up the pressure. You'll recognize how your style changes and what you need to do in order to bring it back into line. So let's lock in that good form right now with a systems check to make sure you're in the right position. Pressure across the foot, knees in, weight on your saddle, pelvis down, Abs engaged, back flat, shoulders relaxed, flex your hands, pull in your elbows, relax your neck. Increase the pressure now and bring your effort level up without changing your style. How's your position changed as it's been put under pressure? Do another systems check now. More pressure now. Things are getting difficult. That's normal. You should be at or just above your threshold. Oh yeah. Keep that smooth pedal stroke going. Being relaxed, whether you're going easy or driving an upper climb, is key to conserving energy and going as fast as possible. Here's a question. Has your body tensed up? Yes. Do another systems check and keep the pressure on. Really memorize that checklist here and use the drill out on the road anytime you need to relax and get your body into line. Oh One boy. more increase in pressure. You should be working very hard right now. Oh yeah. Time to call out that inner Sufferlandrian. Come on. Focus on that core, lock in those abs and flatten that back. Get that awareness of really smooth pedaling.
Final systems check. Really focus on body awareness. Make sure you know where all your bits and pieces are. Okay, relax and spin. Oh my goodness. Did you notice any areas of your body that left that ideal, relaxed, efficient position when you were under pressure? Yeah, all of it. <laughs> Maybe your shoulders came up around your ears, or your knees started to drift out. Maybe your back yeah, started go back to hunch to into a check ball. That. Even when you're not doing a full systems check, just focus on those areas from time to time when you're on the bike to get them back into line until the right position becomes a habit. Let's push here. Okay. Okay, we're going to focus on climbing now and on using your core to move you from a seated to a standing position. A lot of cyclists throw themselves up on their arms when they go to stand up, which shifts your weight too far forward and unbalances the bike. We want to help you develop the awareness and habit of using your core to lift yourself up. This is how you get the most efficiency and power out of your body, as well as most stability on the bike. Let's practice moving from seated to standing in four steps. One, tense your abs. Two, straighten your back. Three, wait till your dominant pedal, either left or right, is at 2 p.m. on the dial, and then use your glutes to tense and lift you up into a standing position. Four, stay up, maintaining a strong focus on keeping tight abs and a straight lower back. Here we go again. Tense your abs, straighten your back, use your glutes to tense and lift you up into a standing position. Stay up. If it helps to engage your glutes, think about using the back of your legs to drive the pedals down. I Sit have down. No style. Let's do it all again. Tense abs, straight back, lift from your glutes. Think about using the back of your legs to drive the pedals down. Shoulders and hands should be relaxed to allow the bike to move beneath you. Okay, sit down and relax for a second. We're going to repeat that drill again. <laughs> sure. One more time. Keep that ab and back tension and lift with your glutes. Now keep that focus on your core as you remain out of the saddle, using your glutes to force the pedals down. Sit down again. Let's do it all again. Tense abs. Straight back. Lift from your glutes, stay up, maintaining a strong focus on keeping tight abs and a straight lower back. Don't hunch over the bars and keep your core tense as a central source of your weight, stability and power. Okay, sit back down and settle into a normal cadence with an effort level of 6 out of 10. Run through a quick systems check. Everything in order and relaxed? Good. To finish this video off, we're going to do some climbing under pressure with an increased threshold effort. Come oh, wonderful. on! Wonderful. Lock in those abs and flatten that back. Keep your pelvis rotated down and a stable core as you keep the pressure on. Ready? Stand up from your core and follow these guys.
You should be working very hard now. Stay focused on a stable, strong core. That's the center of your power, remember? Sit down. Focus on a smooth pedal stroke. Don't let that form get sloppy. Quick systems check. Can you feel how your body changes? Really try to stay in this relaxed position through to the top of the climb. You might not yet be as graceful as Contador and Ancatil, but no, you not. should be feeling pretty stylish about now. <laughs> You've got through a wonderful series of drills here, from pedaling efficiency to low and high cadence work to various systems checks under pressure. So what now? Repeat this video until you memorize the techniques and have generated the proper body awareness so that good style becomes the norm and not the exception. Then, for every ride you do, whether inside or outside, take one of the drills and focus on applying it throughout your ride. Over time, as you practice these drills more often, your body awareness improves, then your style and efficiency will also elevate. And who knows, maybe the pros will be looking to you for style tips in the future. Until next there. time, I'm Carlton Kirby. Carlton Kirby. systems check. You're doing well. You're doing really well. Boom, baby. There she goes. That was a quick one, it wasn't easy, but I don't think with a name like Sufferlandia, Sufferlandria, sorry, I didn't think it's gonna be easy. But we did it, and uh, we're really just priming until Sufferlandria, or Sufferfest next week. So there we go. Uh, man, well thanks for watching, and uh, yeah man, one down. I did, uh, I did one yesterday, I did power stations yesterday. And that was pretty that was pretty brutal too uh, but I like it you know it's just a new new unique challenge and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun you know we got two months from yesterday was the uh, kind of the the benchmark until the triathlon national championship well the world qual qualifier event in uh, in Tempe Arizona so you know it's uh, down to the nitty-gritty here and we're just ramping up the training and I like this new challenge. This is a really cool platform. So, all right, have a good day, everybody. Thanks for swinging by and uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Later, people.